Jake happy with the point tonight? Um, in the end, obviously, because I think Johnny's played a save at the end, but um, I felt for large periods of the game we were um, sort of the better team in, in possession, but they had a couple of breakaway chances. So, look, you're, play, you're playing third in the league. I thought we gave a good account of ourselves, especially after playing sort of 75 minutes with, with 10 men Saturday. But I, first half, I, I thought we were very, very good. I thought we moved the ball very quickly. We were sharp. We just couldn't find that, uh, that end product, obviously. Uh, which is sort of reminiscent of the first couple of games of the season where we obviously look very good. It's just not necessarily creating the chances. I don't think that would seem, seem to be as much of a sort of concern tonight. It just no, sort of I, come listen, in. sometimes you have to give the away, away team some credit as well. I felt they defended their box very, very well. Any time we did get inside their area or close to close to the goal, but the two centre halves defended very well, defended the six-yard box very well. And you have to give them credit sometimes and just say, look, they've defended well. Um, on another night, you, you score. Guardi had a great chance, great move, cut back. If he scores that, it's a, it's a different game. They have to come out a little bit. But it was large parts. It's difficult when 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 they put the people behind the ball. They did. It becomes it becomes different. Um, becomes hard to break down. And then obviously um, we're open and we're really going for it. And you're going to get caught every now and then. And that happened. But um, look, I thought for large parts we were, we were good tonight. I'm named the same team as uh, uh, started the game on, uh, on on Saturday you just feel didn't need changing no look I, I felt everyone deserved to keep their shirt I know there's a lot of uh, hoo-ha about um, Swifty mm. I thought him and Ethan were outstanding tonight at centre half they're yeah. playing against two very very good forwards um, in Bloomfield and Simmons and I thought um, I thought they were outstanding and, and Swifty it's not easy when you've took the stick he has and, and the pressure he's under. And I spoke to him and said, look, how do you feel about it? And he's like, I want to play. And, and I thought he was excellent. Um, but Ethan's been a, a, a massive like, bonus for us. He's, he's really come in and hit the ground running. So delighted with that. Um, clean sheet's nice. Um, but yeah, I didn't think it needed changing. And I thought fitness levels wise, I thought we were very good. We looked, we looked fit, we looked hungry. And I felt the tempo first half especially was, was very, very good. And some of the, Probably some of the best football we've played this season. If we score in that first half, you go away thinking, OK, that's a, that's a top performance. Um, a quick word about Swift. I mean, what a tough month it's been. I mean, to serve the ban and then obviously um, 15 minutes into the game um, Saturday, probably a challenge you had to make, really, wasn't it? Because the guy was yeah, going I, through. He's got, he's got your, your backing, I assume, but it's not yeah, annoying to get sent off in your first game. Do you know back, what? Jamie's killed him a bit, sadly, with a pass. But if you're actually looking at contact, there isn't a hell of a lot of contact there. And even the centre forward for them said yeah. it after the game. But... There is contact, he's last man, and that's the rules. And um, I'm just gutted for him because no matter what people say, Swifty wears his heart on his sleeve. He, he, he's desperate to play for us. And, he, and the boys all love having him on the side. And like I say tonight, I think it says a lot about his character that he can come in. And, and there was, let's be honest, there was people moaning and, and didn't want him out and, and didn't want him playing. And he's got my back in, he's got the rest of the staff's back in and his teammates back in. And um, I think tonight he showed, um, he showed a lot of... Uh, a lot of what he's about. Yeah, not far off. Um, man of match, I wouldn't have thought, but that no. went to Tariq in the end, and in a, in a um, more advanced role hmm. than he sometimes plays. Yeah, look, he's, he can play there. He can play centre mid, so it is kind of uncomfortable there, and you can see why I've thought of playing him there. Obviously, the only blow now is things change a little bit for Saturday because we lose Swifty. So, uh, but we'll we'll work that out. Um, but no, I thought Tariq was good. I thought both wide lads, you can see Shields, he's brought real quality to us. Mm. And I thought both wide lads caused them problems and um, just, just that end product. On another night, probably both of them could have come away with a goal, but it hasn't happened. Um, we take the positives, you played third in the table, we won six on the bounce and we've come here and I think they've showed us a lot of respect. They've, they've sat people behind the ball and kind of defended um, well at times, but um, we move on. It's a point and we move on. If we can turn a couple of these draws into wins. I think that's one defeat in seven now. If we can turn a couple of these draws into wins, then um, we'll, we'll be doing okay. okay. A question on a couple more players. Um, of Jordan, Jordan not getting in the starting lineup at the moment? Uh, yeah, do you know what? I just think Sonny's deserved to keep his shirt. Jordan obviously got suspended and he came out. Sonny went up there and, and he's done well and he's worked ever so hard. So that, that's that one. I've had good chats with Jordan. He knows what I think of him. And I know what he can offer us. Hmm. He probably needs a run of game to get up to speed because he missed all the pre-season. Um, but I've got no issue there. That's part of having a part of having a squad. Okay. And Joe Tari is is he back from sitting born or can he? No, still look, Joe. Joe, I've, I've, I've gone really well with Ryan Maxwell sitting born, and, yeah. and the deal was that he needed to. I feel Joe. If you look at the last few seasons, he's had a few games here, a few games there. I feel he needs to go and get thirty odd games under his belt, and then come back and and really be ready. And I, I see he's got a big future at the club. Got no issue with that. Um, but I had a deal with with Maxi that he would play for them, and if I don't need him, he will go with Maxi, obviously. And, he, um, I've got a lot of time for Tyree and I've got no issue with it at all but the time will be right for him and he'll get his chances um, 
Uh, and that's, that's part of having a squad and, and we, we're still trying to add to the squad. I'm hoping by Saturday we should have one, maybe two in. Um, I think we need to. I think there's certain areas we can improve on and um, the right players are there, which we, I'm hoping that we can get one over the line in the next couple of days, then um, they'll be good additions. Okay, well, good luck with that. Well done on the points tonight. Cheers, fellas. Thank you.